Begin with news from Kano State as state-of-the-art legacy projects executed by the federal government in the areas of power supply, transportation, as well as information and communications technology have been inaugurated in Kano towards enhancing the nation's socio-economic development. President Muhammad Buhari performed the ceremony during a one-day official visit to the Center of Commerce. State House correspondent Adam Usambo reports. Among the projects inaugurated was the 10 megawatts Kano solar power plant jointly owned by the federal and Kano state governments as well as Kumboso local government council. Situated on a 24 hectare parcel of land, the project which has more than 21,000 solar panels, 52 inverters and two 6 megawatts transformers is so far the largest grid connected solar PV plant in the country. President Buhari was informed that apart from catalyzing growth in the power sector, the the renewable project also builds Nigeria's credentials in the fight against climate change and the commitment to attaining the net zero carbon emissions by 2060. This project by the Nigerian Sovereign Wealth Investment Authority, NSIA, is a clear demonstration that the country is doing the right things and walking the talk in our decarbonization commitment. President Buhari also inaugurated the Dala Inland Dry Port, Zawachiki. This critical transport infrastructure, the Transportation Minister Mwazu Jaji Sambo says, is one of the six established in the country to decongest the seaports while taking shipment and port services closer to importers and exporters in the hinterland. Kano in particular as the commercial capital of northern Nigeria with huge agricultural trade in both local and export volumes as well as numerous industrial concerns across various sectors of the economy is not only suited but most qualified for the infrastructure project. Your Excellency Mr. President, generations to come will remember the exemplary leadership that you have provided in these and other areas. Also inaugurated by the president is a national tier 4 data center and northwest regional office, Kano, of the Galaxy Backbone. Minister of Communications and Digital Economy, Professor Isa Ali Ibrahim Pantami, told the president that a center with over 99% reliability is one of the worthy legacies of the Buhari presidency in the digital economy sector. From 2015 to 2023, we have executed and implemented projects and programs around 155 within Kano State. And we have similar interventions in other states all over the country. The president also declared open the more than 460 units Darmanawa Royal City, Kano. It is a social housing initiative of the federal government executed through the Family Homes Fund to provide affordable houses to those in need. We have successfully funded the development of over 16,000 houses and by so doing created up to about 75,000 direct and indirect jobs. Meanwhile, the palace of the Emir of Kano, Aminu Adu Bairo, came alive as President Muhammad Buhari paid homage on the highly revered monarch. I think uh, this system is good. It's good in the sense that uh, our traditional institutions are respected and they are honored. It's very important that we have understood the politics we are expecting from the bottom upwards. And this is common sense because uh, we think better. The Emir applauded the president for enhanced federal presence in critical sectors of the Kano state economy, saying posterity will be kind to the Nigerian leader. He also appreciated the president for extending the deadline for the cash swap program, describing him as a leader who listens and responds appropriately to the plight of the less privileged. <laughs> Before leaving the palace, President Buhari inaugurated the Emir's new council chambers called Sorong Ingla. From Kano, Adamusambu, NTA News.